Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with this Grixis control list. Hopefully, uh, we can do a little bit better job and actually get a few wins with this one. Uh, we did not do very well uh, in video one, but uh, if you do want to watch that video, I do recommend trying it out. At least you can see the deck and kind of what we're starting with. Uh, and you can make fun of some misplays because I'm sure there are plenty. So I uh, do just want to mention, I, I kind of talked about it a little bit in the first video, but uh, if you're not in our Discord, you really should be. Um, it's... It's a really great place. We've got some awesome people in there that are very much uh, regularly taking part in just conversations and just kind of hanging out. Um, and it's great. It's really, really awesome to like see everybody just hanging out. I think it's really fun. So uh, just a recommendation. I'm going to lean on this. Um, just a recommendation, but I do think it's uh, it's worthwhile, you know, checking out and hanging out with everybody. It is free. Like everybody's welcome. So just a heads up. Um, let's do this and let's do this. Go ahead and get a card out of the hand. Hopefully we can kind of see what we're up against here. Um, Sacred Foundry. Ah, it's my least favorite of all decks. It's Jeskai Cycling or excuse me, Boro Cycling. Gosh, screw this deck. <laughs> I hate this one. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, we've actually got a pretty good setup to deal with it, but, like, it's just annoying. Um, you know what? Let's take a hit here. I'm okay with taking a hit. Let's let him get some stuff out. Uh, take advantage of it all. Go for it. We can just cry and get rid of it all, so, like, that's totally fine. I kind of want him to uh, throw out a Flourishing Fox. That'd be kind of nice. Um... Here, I think we will do this, right? Sure. And this exiles too, which is super convenient. Um, and we'll just play out this. We could Fable Passage. We don't really need to yet. I think it's fine. and see what they want to do. We're up against Jack Frost. Wow, we're up against a celebrity. Let's see if we can beat Christmas. <laughs> these are the things that go through my head when I play these games. Um, let's get a blue. I think that's correct. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, Island. You. That's fine. Uh, I actually think we just draw a card here. I'm okay with that. Um, they have to either exile a permanent or, you know, a card from their hand. Um, which just makes it easier for us. I'm holding on to Ashiok, by the way, because, uh, you know, they've only got a few cards in the graveyard for Zenith Flare right now. Kind of just waiting. Um, and here we'll get to hit even off of Extinction Event and three for one. Four for one, excuse me. So that's pretty good. Uh, they can attack Bolus, that's fine. And you best believe we're extinction eventing first. Oh, well, hello there. Um, yep, let's do it. Gotta hit even. Gotta hit even. Very important that we hit even. If I hit odd, I'm gonna be very upset. All right, cool. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Um, let's just drop a U and let's do this. Um, probably should have drawn a card first, but that's fine. Uh, next turn, we're probably going to want to uh, exile their graveyard. Just a guess. Because at this point, we're kind of just trying to devalue the Zenith Flares. Um, that might change things. I'm not really sure. I don't know for sure. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four. So we kind of get to do it all, don't we? Uh, we don't have enough cards in our graveyard. Uh, well, Murderous Rider does help us get there. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's kill this. Um, let's go ahead and draw. 
I wanted to kill that first. That way they had to get something from their hand or a land, um, which I think is way more important. Um, we'll play that out, and we'll play this out. And now... There it is. We got the concede. Guys, we finally won one. It only took us five minutes in this video, while the first game took us 15 in the first video. <laughs> so that felt pretty good. Uh, that is great because I really hate that deck, but also um, we kind of just needed a win for this. So I feel pretty good. Let's jump into game two and see how we do. Um, I really do like this deck. Uh, I was I kind of wish it had done better in video one. Um, a lot of that's down to my playing, so keep that in mind. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we do okay overall in this video. I'd, I'd like to see this one do well. Um, uh, sure. It's a little tricky, but we'll see. We do have Croxa. Uh, and kind of any land makes some of our hand playable. Um, unless it's a basic red land, then that's a problem. But I think that's there's literally like two of those, so... Not tremendously worried. Good, that's helpful. Uh, Croxa, do the thing. Get a card out of hand. Um, Mardu. That's a good one. Yep. You best believe we're going to extinction event the heck out of this. <laughs> like very very soon um uh let's do this um i know this whoops this is a bit aggressive but uh i do think that this is kind of an okay thing right now um what do we want uh yeah kind of thank you um the knight's going to be a bit of a problem. They're probably going to buff it up, but again, we have extinction events. So if they spend their turn doing that, we will extinction event. If they spend their turn not doing that and playing stuff out, we're just going to hit cry um, and get a couple of uh, value spells going. They may try and kill Narsa at two. Um, looks like they're not going to be able to pump this up, so cry is going to be great. Yeah, kill it. It's fine. About to get two for one, so like that's super cool. Um, I mean, exile those things. Um, let's see what I, I'm very curious as to what they do at this point. If this is just like a Mardu Knights deck, then we have an answer for that. That was a weird thing for Soren to say. Um, No, we kind of want land still. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, solely so they don't get the opportunity to activate him. And of course, we have the follow-up Bedevil here too, which is going to make this just amazing. Um, all right. Well, now we're getting a little excessive. Uh... Gonna kill that. I mean, we're point and click removal like the whole way down. That's fine. Okay. I mean, I get why they did that because we could have killed the Ember Cleave with the Bedevil, but uh, we've got plenty of ways to kill pretty much everything, so that's fine. Um, and now we get to Croxa. We could have Ashioked also. Bit of a fast play on my end, but now we get this card out of hand, so they're down to one card per turn. Uh, which feels pretty good, if I'm honest. And it was a land. That's good. Yeah, do it. Do the thing. Um, I mean, first we're going to attack. Going to have to do that. Um, let's do this, and let's do this. Uh, we're going to target ourselves, because chances are we may have to... Wow, that was three really good hits. Uh, chances are we may have to extinction event on this, um, 
And so I would like to be able to, you know what? Yeah, let's just do this. Even. We can just play this again next turn. We've got more than enough cards, so like, it's totally fine. Good card. Uh, do this. Target ourselves. Play Croxa. Yeah! Hit him for three. Um, yep. Hopefully I don't have a creature. Uh, okay. I mean, that's, like, fine. It's pretty good, but... I mean, they literally have to block. Good. So that dies. Now we just do this. And we play this. Four, five. And we win. Yeah, go us. We got there. Two games in a row. Woo! Killing it. Oops. We did a lot better so far in these games than we did in the first video, but loving it. All right, let's jump into the last game. Let's see if we can uh, we can 3-0 in this video. Uh, now that I said that, probably not, but we're going to try. We have to. We have to try. This is for science. This is important. Um, also, I'm going to pose a question to you guys really quick, because uh, I've actually considered this... Uh, would you guys be, genuinely, would you guys be interested in doing any kind of, uh, like, historic stuff? Um, obviously, I can't, I personally kind of want to stick with arena content. Um, that's not to say that the channel as a whole is going to be doing that always, but personally, that's what I would like to do. Um, mm, what do I care about? I don't know that I care about much. Um... Mm, graveyard um so uh, i i just to like switch things up a little bit i was kind of considering doing a little bit more uh historic content just again to be different um if you guys would like to see that kind of thing please let me know because i really would be interested to uh hear your thoughts on it um what's the correct thing to do here would have been to play Steam Vents and then play Narset, to be honest, because then we can next turn do Thought Erasure and Croxa. But I don't plan ahead well, clearly, so. Yeah. Covetous Urge. Very good card. Uh, let's do... Eh, let's just do this. I mean... Don't really want them to have Bond of Insight. Uh, to me, that seems bad. So I'm going to take that. They can Extinction Event all they want. I mean, that's going to suck, but like, it's not really the end of the world. Um, so let's go ahead and Narset. It's going to shut down there. Draw at the very least, hopefully. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Just have all the hand destruction. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting deck. I don't think I've seen this like Demir kill everything kind of thing. I uh, kind of wish we had hit a land there. But hey, double thought erasure is something. You. Yes. And do it again. <laughs> and keep. All right. Well, that was helpful. Now they just have lands in hand. <laughs> uh, potentially that's changed now, but... Um, eh, let's give them a target. Let's see what they do. Um, get a card out of the hand as well, which is pretty crucial, I think. They took three for it, so hopefully it's uh, something good. We'll see. A little worried, to be honest, but given that we have a Narset shutting down the draw, and we've seen a lot of creature removal and not very much removal otherwise, uh, I feel okay. Um... 
what is this deck? This is so weird. <laughs> this is such a strange deck. Uh, they took Agonizing Remorse. That's fine. I mean, they get to take maybe Murderous Rider. That, that's fine. Or Narsa. I mean, all of these are great options, so I really don't know what they need to take. All right. That was kind of fast, but we'll take it. So we 3 0 in the second video uh, and did absolutely terrible in the first video. Uh, to summarize the deck, though, uh, I, so one thing I really like about uh, Grixis Control, and this tends to be the case, is that it's very good at hand destruction, and it's very good at sweeping and targeted removal. Uh, it also feels really cool to be able to do a lot of like Planeswalker shenanigans. This one, we didn't get to see it so much. Uh, Nickel Bolas, Narset, um, we also have Ashiok and things like that doing the most. Like Ashiok uh, is very, very good uh, in standard right now. I will say that. Uh, it shut down that cycling deck like 100%, but uh, regardless, this deck is very much built on having the answer at any given time, uh, and it's it's pretty good at that. Uh, I think we flooded in in the first video. Uh, we flooded a little bit, which was kind of bad. Uh, it does run 25 lands a little bit over average, but I think it has to. It's a control deck. It has to. Um, but the hand destruction in particular is very, very powerful. Now, I do want to mention, and I mentioned this when we went over the deck in video one, this is not a hard fast list. You can go through this and you can swap this around a little bit if you'd like, but this is just what I went with. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, of course, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did. Uh, if you didn't, dislike it. That's fine. Or let us know what you want to see. But I uh, really do appreciate you guys watching and I uh, hope you have a great weekend. I don't know that we'll have any videos coming up this weekend. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of taking some of the weekends off just to give myself a little break every once in a while. Uh, but hopefully doing a little bit more content during the week too. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon in another gameplay video. Thanks guys.